Hey you, AG, so how's everybody doing on this merry, brightish, getting gloomier day? So on this video, buy the silver dip or wait for lower, gonna be going over just that. I took a week off, uh, well, a break from releasing last week, just had a real tied up week, so I had to take the week off, but we're back to rolling again. So I'd love to say if you haven't done so already and you like what you hear slash see, please do like and subscribe and also consider joining. As you can see down below, I've left the link to the join button. There's no join button there. And the benefits of all the joins um, that I've mentioned before, you know, exclusive videos, we're gonna be rolling out some more of the group chats I believe they're called I'm always messing that one up but yeah so like join and, and hit me down below and also let me know what's going on down on your end on what I'm going to be bringing up here so I have you depending on who you are we've had it's come it's been here and that's going to be the correction or you know the inevitable that was foreseen tank in price of silver but you know is it a dip or is it just you know heading out to where it's inevitably going to end up let me know down below and also let me know what you're currently doing with this so it's been about i don't know i missed last week about a week and a bit now since we've had somewhat of a heavy correction last i saw pound sterling it was healthily above the uh, you know, the, the 20 pound, um, and we're talking, referring to silver per ounce here, spot price, I believe we got up to down near 21 pound. So we're sitting around the 18 pound area now still, you know, you know not as good. Whenever you can break the 20 mark, it's always fantastic, whether that's in dollars or pounds, but we are where we are right now. And it's what you're going to be doing. Are you going to be buying the dip or are you going to be waiting for it to go lower? Where, what well, I think, you know, I, I, I believe it would be coming down. Um, whenever you're speaking to somebody real hardcore, it's always going to be, this was inevitable, you know, back the track up, um, the truck up or it was foreseen. Gold didn't take as much a, a, a hammering, but both took a hammering. Um, with the circus going on right now around the world, whether it's Brexit or whichever was happening, I don't seem to, I don't see that slowing down the inevitable destruction of the current system, but they're holding up well. I, I will give them that, you know, I tip my hat to them. They are holding up well. There's a lot going on right now. And, you know, the Fed is still printing. Everybody's still printing. You know, COVID hasn't gone nowhere, the big C. And we are, we are. So it's very interesting to see but the way i viewed and looked upon it you know as we've come down um first thing was it's a fantastic dollar cost averaging opportunity you know and this is why it pays off to um put that into your buying strategy a lot of people were contacting me at the time still do asking now was the right time to buy whether it be britannia's or even collect the coins and i've always taken the approach i was never a big dollar cost pound cost averaging type of per purchaser but you know whenever i was in a fantastic position i would lock in but with what we've currently seen with terms of spot and getting on to the next point that i saw and in terms of availability whereas availability has been pretty decent you know this was penned to be that month where it was do or die make or break and this it's normally at the tail end of the year that things normally do take a tank in so nothing you know definitely out of the norm here but what was, was availability. A lot of dealers put their orders in. Some may feel a little deep now, who knows, but it's getting delivered. So it could have just been at one point, whether everywhere on the planet's different, every country wise, no one's trying to go back into a full lockdown, but some systems are just being stressed, i.e. the health systems. Currently in the UK, releasing this video, we seem to be doing, we're doing. You know, <laughs> that's just the best way to put it. We are doing, uh, going back into a full lockdown is no good for nobody, but it's going to be what it's going to be. I mean, if we get back into a situation like that, then we may see supply chains really taking a massive hit. I think that would have been technically better for all us hoarders of silver and gold, but just to keep things going on, because I, I know of companies and individuals that are, are literally down and under now regardless if, 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 we, if we was to miraculously go back into full swing of things it's too little too late so another full lockdown that moment we're going through partial lockdowns i would say kind of silly o'clock like lockdowns on my end but any type of lockdown is is to stop the stop spread is is good you know i'm, I'm all for that until 
we can get ourselves on the straight and narrow. I don't see anything going back to the way it was before until a vaccine is out. Whether you're a vaccine taker, that's a different video for a different day. So availability seems to be okay because we seem to be allowed out to play. So um, with the price where it is right now, would it be a good time to buy? Most definitely. It's definitely a better time than it was a month ago, if you ask me. Um, availability, I know a lot of dealers that have had um, shipments in, especially pen for uh, the end of this this month as we are, um, I don't know, we're in October now, terrible, terrible me. So um, dealers and availability should be there. Whether dealers want to play the game now, this is what we might start seeing. It could be they locked in at a certain price and they need to, you know, um, receive that price and they're not going to re be releasing the metals until they receive that price let me know if you're currently experiencing a situation like that because it's it's a seller's market right now and you're not going to get any bigger sellers than the dealers right now so will we go lower well, I'm always pegging it from now till Christmas personally um, it's just let's flip this coin. <laughs> that's the, that's exactly how I'm viewing it. There's no crystal ball. There's no me looking at um, what's currently going on, even in the crypto realm that I'm heavily a part of. Uh, the unforeseeable, unforeseenables happened, that, which has taken me back once again. I was in a very positive, happy chirp, chirp, chirp mood in one of the videos, but you never know what's around the corner it's just one of those things so i wouldn't call it but if you was asking me it was going to go lower i'd say 100 percent it is going to go lower how low will it go let me know down below in the comments if you think that's the case then let me know down below in the comments if you think this is the year if you think this side of the year we're going to be seeing all of the fireworks in terms of even touching previous all times high all time highs it's 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 not unthinkable or unheard of or do you think it's just downhill from here and you know it's just a no show i would say and this is what it's been for me and even i'm looking at a lot of investments and just thinking this there's way too much sideways going on and this has been a metal that's that's been like the master of sideways we could just see currently where we are or float between in terms of pound sterling again between the 21 pound 22 pound 17 pound mark and go sideways for that. that's a, a massive spread depending on the size of your stack but that's what i in my bones feel is going to happen you know we may just go up a couple of points from here and just ski sideways for months and then just come down again and ski sideways um we're in the full swing of things in terms of the big C. So the only, the worst thing that can happen is it, you know, we get a deep, deep winter, depending on where you are, you more likely have that standard. And it just bring us into, I think that will be the game changer and where the price goes personally. If, if we have to go into some somewhat of a full lockdown, then everything goes into halt. Um, a lot more in terms of people's livelihoods go downhill from there. And that could choke up things in terms of supplies and people receiving the metals uh, that is what i could see easily pushing the price up because people may not be able to get but i think a lot of people that were tight or in a bind before let me know if you're one of those types of people are now locking in and securing you know right now people are still could you believe it um stripping um supermarket shelves bare of toilet roll like we just haven't had the whole of august to um, top up anything that you may have missed out on but it's just the mentality and the herd mentality so it's not going to surprise me to find out that people now think we're going to be getting back into lockdown and want to try and secure or you know fill their boots up as much as possible but it's looking like it's going to be what it is right now um, uh, some people may need to be you know saying bye bye to Santa from a distance it's going to be an interesting Christmas 2020 has been a very interesting year um, I'm going to be going forward from here just picking up any fantastic deals. You know, I'm still picking up a lot of high premium coins. For everybody that asks for the Queen's Beast, here we are. I do have a video coming out regarding um, some opportunities with those coins. So look out for it, all members. And I think from here on out, I think we only have the proof Griffin to be looking forward to. But there's been a few releases, nothing too intense. The mint seem to be able to, with well, a big mint seem to be able to, you know, 
um, put their orders out and fulfill certain collector coins without an issue. So I don't think we're going to go through the year where we're going to be seeing absolutely nothing whatsoever. So personally, I feel like we might go sideways. If it goes low, 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 then who knows? You know, I'll wait for other arenas to pick up and I may aggressively pick up. But I'll definitely do a video if that's going to be the case. But most importantly, let me know what you're doing, guys. Do you believe that we're going to be seeing lower silver spot price? Or we're going to be shooting up from here. So either way, let me know down below in the comments. Once again, please do like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also consider coming along and becoming one of the League of Shadow members. And I'll catch you guys on the rebound.